Welcome dear students to Computer Studies Standard 11th English Medium. Today we are going to study chapter number 1 Introduction to Multimedia Part 1. This chapter is going to be very interesting. Dear students, you all are aware of the present day situation caused due to this coronavirus. We don't know when the situation will get all right and when will the school start again. So, we all have to adjust with the online study concept. So, watch the video from the starting till the end and try to understand all the concepts which I am teaching through this video. And if you are new on my channel and haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any updates. So, let's begin. In this chapter, you will be taught about how multimedia is helpful in communication and also the different multimedia elements will be taught here. Now first thing, communication is an integral part of our life. We human beings differ from other animals. It's because the way we have progressed such a lot. See, when God had created all the living creatures, we all were in the same state. One of the reasons behind our progress is the skill of communication with each other. We human beings can do the work together by communicating with each other, by sharing our ideas with each other, can work on the same plan by joining with each other. The animals do not possess the art of communication and therefore they cannot progress. The strongest animals like an elephant, a horse or a bull works under human being like a slave. Why? It's due to the lack of efficiency of communication among each other and due to the low intelligence they possess. So, hope you are able to understand the importance of communication. We use various means of communication like TV, newspaper, internet, etc. as per the textbook. In fact, we make the maximum use of smartphone for communication. Am I right? Now, all these mediums helps us to gain knowledge and educate us and also provides entertainment for us. Today, with the application such as WhatsApp, we get the news of whatever thing which is taken place within no time. We get the images, photos, voice clips and it becomes viral within no time. Sometimes, there are chances of getting fake news also through WhatsApp. Why? Because the person who is sending or forwarding the message is not any authentic person. But then too, in olden days we had to wait for the newspaper for the next morning, then we will get the news. Then came television. Through television we were able to receive the news on the same day. But now through the WhatsApp we are able to receive anything urgently. As soon as the thing takes place we get the news about it. Then we take the example of YouTube or Google Meet or any other such uh, multimedia applications. At present, during the period of uh, partial lockdown when the schools are closed, we teachers are able to teach you that is because of these applications and these channels. Now, see a single medium is not enough to convey a meaningful message to a variety of audience. When we are talking face to face with one person, sometimes it is possible to convey the meaningful information properly. But especially when the message is to be conveyed to a mass of audience, one single medium that is voice may not be enough. You may have noticed that even when a motivational speaker delivers a lecture, 
he will have to take the help of the projector and he will have to prepare a presentation to be shown otherwise he will not be able to hold the audience attention for a longer period to explain you that a single medium of information is just not enough to convey meaningful message to a variety of audience four examples are given in the textbook the first one is telephonic talk while talking on a mobile phone to your friend you cannot see his or her facial expressions you can just hear the voice and sometimes the voice are also similar you will not get the exact idea whether you are talking to the proper person or somebody else the second example which is given here is the usage of text for multimedia and uh, not the usage of voice now when you write a letter to a friend describing him about your trip to kashmir only the text can be read he cannot hear your voice neither you can hear the voice of that person and another thing whatever you are boasting in the letter that person will have to believe because he is not able to see that place right but if you send him a picture along with the letter he can imagine the fun you had during your trip but however if you send a video clip he could visualize more about the fun you had so as you can see here the more the mediums of information you are using the impact of the communication increases now these all examples which are given that is writing letter and inside the letter putting the photographs and sending and these all things are so much old i don't understand why the textbook is given this examples in fact right now we don't type uh, write a letter and send to anybody we straight away post the photographs on the social networking site or we share it on whatsapp or any other such uh, social networking platforms but i am sure that uh, with these examples the thing is clear that as the number of mediums increases the communication becomes more meaningful in this chapter we will learn about multimedia basic elements of multimedia and applications of multimedia from which we begin with the term multimedia the term multimedia has been coined from two terms that is multiple and media this could be asked in the mcq also hence multimedia means usage of multiple medias to communicate in other words multimedia is a combination of different multimedia elements like text audio graphics video and animation the combination of all the media elements makes the communication more structured and understandable to the user this also could be asked in the mcq here i have displayed the icons of the elements of multimedia or components of multimedia so multimedia is the combination of the elements such as text sound image video and animation just now we learned that these are the five multimedia elements and by adding the more number of elements the communication becomes more meaningful and understandable to a large mass of audience yeah correct no problem but how to add all this multimedia elements together so here comes the role of computer computer plays a vital role in the development of these media elements for example to teach you this chapter straight away i could have recorded a video lecture of mine and uploaded it on youtube but that will be uninteresting you will get bored instead of that i have prepared the lecture like this way in which i have used the different media elements now according to the textbook a computer capable of handling text graphics audio video and animation 
is sometimes called multimedia computer. Now it could be asked in the MCQs, that is true, but actually nowadays whatever computers we are using are all capable of handling all these multimedia elements. Multimedia is nowadays used in every field of life like education, theater, advertising, fashion, gaming and many more. I will explain you one by one. In the field of education, the method is not just limited to the matter reading from the textbook or explaining the thing on the blackboard. But nowadays, so many educational CDs of different subjects are available in the market. Plus, the videos could also be uploaded on YouTube and the people sitting in different parts of the world can study the same thing and especially at the time of exams also, the videos from the YouTube could be very much helpful to you. And another thing, nowadays the usage of smart board is coming into existence. This has also played a very important role in teaching. Nowadays, so many apps are available in the market and in the period of lockdown also children can sit at their home and download those apps and study the subject through that apps and the professional app developers have used all the multimedia for example to teach any experiment of science they have prepared animation for that thing to explain you the thing and that is how the quality of education is improving day by day with the help of multimedia in the field of advertisement also computer has played a very important role if you see the advertisements of olden days before uh, during the lockdown period uh, Ramayan serial was shown on TV and in between the serial the advertisement of those days were shown if you compare those advertisement with today's advertisement then you will be able to realize that how much is the usage of multimedia multimedia advertising is the process of using animations graphics etc to design to market and sell a product or service. Companies are likely to appeal to a broader audience and increase their sales with the help of this advertisements. So it should be maximum attractive which is possible with the help of computer and multimedia. Now when I will explain you that how multimedia plays a very important role in the fashion designing that time you will be surprised to know all these facts. Now see, multimedia as an important part of artificial intelligence provides powerful tools for analyzing, understanding and predicting the fashion with rich data processed in the fashion communities and online stores from the internet. Multimedia technologies are trying to teach machines to rethink the fashion, cultivate the fashion sense and creativity. So like this way multimedia, internet, computer, everything is very important in the fashion designing. Most computer games uses multimedia to display graphic images along with some combination of text, sound effects, music and oral communication. Nowadays so many games are available on the play store you can straight away download that game and you can start playing that game nowadays multiplayer games are available like pubg people sitting in different parts of the world can play the same game multiplayer games right in olden days the kings were not so lucky like you they were satisfied by playing the game of chopard and those type of normal games which you find so much boring because they had never seen this type of multimedia supported games so they were happy in the games which they used to play these all things have become possible only due to multimedia and internet
Another thing which is given in the textbook is that uh, multimedia is useful in the theatres. Yeah, we all know theatre is fully enabled of displaying all the multimedia. Here, further no explanation is necessary at all. Here we complete this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and we meet in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.